In this video, I will explain you how you can create Maven project in VS Code. So once you open the VS Code, first thing that you need to do is you need to install this Java extension. So if you click on this gear button and then you can go to extensions or there you can search for the Java extensions here in this box. And uh, once it appears, you have to install that. So you can see here uh, there are recommended extensions it is showing. You can just click on install and then install. It will install this. Extension in the VS code. So I'll uh, show you which extension I have added. So basically when you install this java extension uh, there is it comes in the packet so there are multiple extensions basically so java test runner is one of them java extension package so this is the extension pack so you have to install this one when you install this pack actually it comes with six extensions as you can see here language support for java which provide java linting intellisense then debugger for java lightweight java debugger then java test runner to run the JUnit or other testing framework tests then maven for java so you can execute your uh, maven projects then there is a java dependency viewer where you can view all the dependencies for your project and uh, there is artificial intelligence assisted development microsoft so these extensions will be installed when you install this pack after that uh, you can create a new project so basically you can create the project uh, right from this ui itself but i will tell you how to do it in command line because uh, that is the preferred way for me so these are the commands that you need to execute to create a new project so go to this explorer button and then create a new directory for example say java and in that i'm gonna create a new project so let us execute these commands one by one so the project that we are going to create is it will be a simple uh, JUnit project uh, console based project basically so this is the first command that you need to install you need to make sure that maven is already installed JDK is already installed on your system and you are able to use that so this is not in the scope in this video how to install maven or uh, JDK I'm assuming that you have got those tools installed. So next thing is you have to execute this command maven archetype generate. So here what we are telling maven is that okay I want to create a new project. Then when we create a new project in maven or uh, any java project for that matter we need to specify the group id. Group id is basically uh, recognizes the organization that that is creating this project. So this is uh, my organization org.softfost normally it is your uh, domain name of your company or website in from the reverse way like org.softfost so my website name is softfost.org so you have to put it in reverse way then artifact id is the actual uh, id for this specific project in specific organization there can be multiple projects so if you want to identify your project you can give the artifact id there then next is archetype arch artifact id so here we have to specify what kind of project we want to create maven archetype quick start this is the basic project that we are going to create so this is the template actually provided by the maven there are lots of other templates like if you want to create the web application then there is a different architecture type or artifact id since we are creating a simple console based application with JUnit support this architecture or artifact id is sufficient maven archetype quick start next thing that i uh, given here is interactive more is equal to false it means it is not gonna ask me any questions when i'm creating this project so if you skip this or skip this or skip this or ask for uh, like a lot of questions uh, regarding your project like group id uh, if you have not specified or lots of other information like uh, project site and lots of other so all this kind of information is asked so i just want to create a default uh, project so 
here execute this command say I'm gonna put JUnit project there because that will come with the chain it support as well then just copy paste this command here uh, remember that I'm in the Java directory here and then hit enter it will create JUnit project you can see that on the left hand side right now under Java there is a console app and Maven console directory after execution of this command there will be another directory there So you can see JUnit project this directory is created just now and if you look into that so this is typical maven structure it contains the source directory and then inside that there is a main entity so main contains our source files test contains the files that are required to test your main application so this directory structure is automatically created by this command now next thing that we want to do is we want to compile our project so to compile the project first of all we need to get into that project like uh, if into you need to change the directory so cd change it press the tab and then it will appear the uh, full directory name you don't need to type entire directory name there and uh, if you are using bash you have to just type the first letter of your directory and then hit tab and then it will uh, directly uh, like show you exact uh, full path of that directory so th there are since there are two uh, files with the uh, that start with the j here uh, it is not uh, giving me the path right in the command line so i have to put two characters and then if i press tab now you can see that full path is being displayed so you don't have to type entire uh, name of the directory there it will save your time so cd into that directory and once you are in that directory you have to execute this command maven compile so maven compile this command is actually useful to compile your files so we have got this app.java this file is automatically created for us and there is a app test.java so this file is also automatically created for us so these files are there and pom.xml file is also there as you can see JUnit dependency is added in here automatically so you don't need to worry about it all you have to do is just execute this compile command maven compile and what this command is gonna do is it will create a target directory in here in our project uh, which will contain the class files remember that this source files generally will have dot java extension what we want to do is we want to compile those source files into class file so jvm needs those class files jvm will not work with the source files with the java extensions first of all we need to compile them and then once it is compiled those compiled files that class files uh, sh will be fed to the java virtual machine and java virtual machine is actually going to execute those class files so here we are converting those java files to class files by executing this maven compile command and over there you can see there is a target directory there so this directory is created after executing that command compile command and you can see here there is a classes directory which will contain all the classes so there is a in the source there is app.java so for that java file it has created app.class file okay now uh, we want to execute the test so let us see what is the next command here so this command is optional basically if your application is console based application you can execute that uh, class directly using this command but uh, I'm just gonna execute the tests in, he in here so you can see there is a app test.java file there so uh, normally uh, all the tests should start with the uh, test 
this word and then whatever is the test you are doing also the class name has to follow the naming convention it should end with the test as you can see here app test so that is the maven convention basically that you need to follow you can give different names but i will recommend that you stick to the convention so to execute those tests you have to do mvn test remember that without compilation you will not be able to execute the tests so basically if your project is not compiled mvn test command is going to compile it as well so mvn compile command itself is optional so mvn test and then you can see it will execute the tests in our project it is just the surefire plugin and you can see tests run is one so failure is zero that means all the tests have been passed it doesn't say passed one it just say, uh, says tests run and if there are any failures or errors you can see here so the, all these numbers are zero that means our test has passed and you can see in the target directory sure fire reports this directory is created it contains the xml report which contains uh, the execution uh, like what test we have run and this app test dot class this class file is also generated because to execute the test we also need to convert our this app test dot java into class file and uh, that is done by surefire plugin so that is how you can uh, execute the test now uh, i want to also show you how to execute uh, execute this main command or uh, main method from this class so you can see here there is uh, this particular command that you can use so just execute this command make sure that class name is correct yes it's correct and execute it so what we are doing is we are telling okay execute use this executable java and this is our main class so you will find our main method in this particular class app class so execute it and then you will see it will print hello world as you can see it has printed hello world that is what we are printing here in this main method so in this video uh, i will just uh, review what we have seen what we did uh, is that we installed this java extension pack and then we executed this command which created the project for us jnet project basically and then this command is optional basically compile command but i will recommend if you want to execute this uh, console based application then i will recommend you execute this compile command otherwise it is not required mvn test will do compilation for you so that is optional if you want to just execute the tests you can jump to this particular command mvn test and then it will execute all the tests in our project if you want to execute uh, the console based application then that is how you do it what you need to do is you need to give the class which contains the main method so in our case app.java is the class main class which contains this main method and that is the entry point for our execution so that's it in this video if you have more questions let me know through the comments thanks for watching this video